Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my oops, hold on, channel. <laughs> Sorry. I had to start a work around them. I haven't played the game for a couple days and just coming back. I went to Michigan to visit my cuz. For those of you that watched the Farmer's Dynasty episode, you know also that I went there. Uh, so right now we are collecting the bales that we mow. I'll tell you what, man. This went so much faster with this equipment. I mean, just like, oh, snap, and we were done. Did I say that? I'm sorry. Oh, it's stupid. But we really got done fast, and it was pretty snappy. Uh, did I get everything from over here? I'm thinking I collected all the bales from that side. We got a lot of bales, though. Look at this. We got 24 at least. And then, let's see, 21, 22, 23, 24, yeah. And then maybe a half another cart. So we'll make some decent money from this sale. As we work to pay back what we spent for this tractor. But we should do it pretty quick. I love my new Howl and... Oh! joke there <laughs> all right so we're gonna head down to the cell point and uh, put these bales to good use money and let's go do it so we're getting closer to being able to deliver our truckload of canola I'm not sure if that'll happen in this episode or not. It might. We'll see where we get. But right now, we're going to sell this stuff and make some money. <gasps> Whoa. That did not balance out well. The train's now available. That You know what that means? Can he make it? Oh, gosh. Whoa. <laughs> that was just by the skin of our, well, teeth. And so let's go ahead and dump this off here. I haven't sold at the bail point with this setup before, so we'll see how it fits. But I'll tell you what, it took us like two hours at the most to mow and bail all of that. So that is going to be way more efficient in the future. And our harvester is going along, so we're doing good. He's not getting lost, so that's good news. Uh, don't, no, don't. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 30,000 bucks right there. Uh, we got another probably 10 to 15 coming from the field. So $40,000 off that field. Yep. That ha paid for half the tractor almost. Well, how much was this tractor? I gotta think about that. I want to say the tractor was 170, but that could be wrong. It might have been more than that. Uh, but that really that was nice. All right, I'm gonna jump back to the farm. I'll see you in just a second. I'm gonna say the tractor was less than that. Looking at the the base price on this tractor is um 102,000. So configured as is, it probably was about 100. 30 maybe maybe a top at 140 because i got the the 175 horsepower motor but yeah what a great little tractor i hope in real life someday i'll be able to afford one of these but we'll see unfortunately they're i don't really like their boomer line of tractors they're not very good looking but like a 475 or t450 would be awesome but they're so expensive. Uh, you can get a, uh, when I was looking online, I found a lot of T6150s um, for, I think, I can't think about how much they were. The T6150, I, was it, or was it a T5? Maybe it was a T575. Oh, T475, that's right. Uh, the one that's in Farm Sim 15, I was looking at them in real life. And you can get them, you know, fairly used for about, Fifteen thousand to twenty-five thousand dollars, depending. 
um, which isn't, you know, I mean, that's too much money. I don't have that, but it would be nice. You know, and they're really not that expensive for a, a decent, you know, a T-475, although it's really small for farm sim, is a fairly decent sized tractor. Like, they're, they're that's a big tractor for, like, small farming you know what i mean like it's it does the the front loader and all that stuff they're they're great tractors but i don't know i'd have to look up new holland i really in real life i don't know what their service record is like you know like i don't see a lot of people with new hollands around here i see case and i see uh john deere and i know new holland is manufactured by the same company that makes case so i would think their service is the same and we have new holland dealerships i just don't see a lot of new holland tractors nearby so I don't know. Anyway, I'll be back, folks. I'm going to run down, and I'll see you when I get there. And then we got to uh, unload the harvester because it's full. Je suis arrivé. I have arrived. At the bale facility. I go to the front door this time. I'm tired of going in the back door. This is a walkway. What are the chances? Why, pretty good, I'd say. <laughs> Son of a biscuit. Come on. Whoopsie. Somebody just texted me. I wonder who that could be. It is Seth. What just happened there? No. What the? <laughs> okay, well, that about twenty thousand bucks. So yeah, a little bit over twenty. Seth is asking me. Oh, uh. <laughs> Things. The only problem with this trailer, and I love it to death, but it is just a hair long, so it's a little bit tough to manage in some of these like. I have to turn because I can't. I got to get around this light post, but I can't. There we go. All right. Dang farm sim physics. All right, let's go see what's going on here. These. Uh, all right, this that guy's done, so we need to go get that. So I'll be right back. We're gonna hop in the harvester. All right. Here's the newbie. Really, almost finished harvesting. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll just finish up for him, since we're so close to being done. Oh, wow. It's going to go over, isn't it? Ah, it's so close. We could theoretically fit the rest of the canola in here. It's been a great day, though. We've made a lot of money. I think we're going to get, with the trip to sell the canola, we're going to get close to paying this stuff off, man. And it's early enough in the day that we could make uh, Andorra Davala by evening, I think. So we'll try to do that. And then come on back tomorrow morning. I love driving the truck. I'm looking forward to taking a round ride down there. It's a pretty drive. Yay, so we get to do a little bit of harvesting again. Mostly we had hired people doing this last time, but we're we're almost done now, so we'll get that taken care of. That was the wrong button. Of 
poor Supi had a seizure again this week. Like, man. He's gone so long without having one, and then it's like, ah. Uh, just when you think you're clear. It's been about a year and a half, so it's like he only has him about once a year, so. Still frustrating, though. Still frustrating. So let's get this done. I don't know. I don't know if this is all going to fit in that tipper. Love we'll to see. It's going to be close. I'm excited to go hunting again. We've made a deal with the local hotel. They do want a couple buffalo and a couple more deer. So we're going to have to go get that for them. And uh, they said they might even take some some geese, though. I don't I don't know the geese make great eating, but I don't know they want some. So maybe for decorations or something. So we will pick those up. Uh, we'll have to rent an airplane. Uh, looking at a, a couple different options. So we can fly in down there. And yet carry some cargo back. I know the airport has a rental, a Piper, Piper Archer that might do the trick. I have to check the weights and see what I can fit on there. shall see. <laughs> so we are almost done with this. And uh, I'm pretty excited. I didn't end up, uh, for those of you that watched the Farmer's Dynasty video that I released recently, you probably saw it already, but I did uh, get a new car. My car was starting to leak gas. Um, so when you open the sunroof, you could smell fumes. And uh, I was like, Ugh. so I, I, and I also have a bunch, a bunch of stuff was starting to break inside. Cause it's an older car, you know, it was like 15 years old, 14 years old. And I still owed like two years of payments on it. Cause it was just, you know, one of the stupid things I did years ago where I took out a, a, a six year loan on a car that was, you know, 10 years old. Uh, what was I thinking? It's been a great car. Um, actually, I didn't really drive that much. My ex-wife used it a lot more than I did, and she really beat the crap out of it. But uh, anyway, so I went uh, and traded it in and got a Kia Forte GT manual. So it's a six-speed manual transmission uh, hooked up to a 200-horsepower uh, turbocharged four-cylinder engine. So it gets great mileage, and yet it's fun to drive. It's like a souped-up little lawnmower. Um, it's a fun car. It really is fun to drive. Um, but it's also roomy and comfortable, so those are like, I'm a big guy. What's weird is that the Forte is actually bigger than my Sonata now. Like that, the new Fortes are actually larger than my Sonata, which the Sonata is supposed to be like a midsize, and the Forte is a compact. The back seats are a little smaller, though, but it's a very roomy car. loaded because that's how the the GT is there the GT manual is the top of their line the top of the Forte line it's basically a mini stinger it's got a six six and a half second zero to 60 which is incredible and you know it's just it's a fun car to drive I'm probably gonna get lots of tickets I'm being careful not to because my wife told me if I got a ticket that she'd make me I wouldn't be allowed to drive the car for a week and if I get another ticket then I wouldn't be allowed to car drive the car for two weeks <laughs> And if I got another ticket after that, she wouldn't let me drive the car ever again, and I'd have to sell it. So, so far, 
I haven't gotten a ticket. <laughs> Under threat of, of car loss. I have a feeling we're going to go over the load, which sucks. And yes, I know you're supposed to load the front tipper first. I know, I know. Because what happens is if it's lighter than the back tipper, when you pull on it, it'll actually, you could, there's the possibility of flipping the tipper over on a sharp turn. And it also just, you know, it, it I, don't, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it puts un, undue stress on the middle trailer. It's just not good for it. So, yep, that's what I thought. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to run this over to our uh, train station. They've been kind enough to allow us uh, to store our canola and our crops at the station while we finish farming. So, put our little things on there. Clear? Yeah, good enough. Tell you what, we're barely pulling these trailers. This is a heavy load of canola. That'll bring in some nice, nice money when we do it. Be quite profitable for us. Looks like we're going to be able to get on the road at about noon, which is good. I've already called ahead and let them know that we need the truck for the day. And uh, so they said we could use it. So we'll pick that up this afternoon, you know, or the around noon. Around noon, I don't know. Maybe it might be afternoon, but by the time we get everything cleaned up and I get where I'm going. But it's 10.54 right now, so, or 9.54. Let's go ahead and dump this on. Whoa, dump this on. Look at all that lovely canola. The turning radius of this tractor helps in these kind of situations for sure. Oh, that was Micah. Let's see, Mr. Micah's asking if I made it home safe. I, I think I told you I had lunch with him today. Did I tell you guys that? I went to Toledo and visited Mr. Micah. I'm texting and driving a all-wheel drive tractor. All wheel steering tractor. Not a good idea. Not doing a very good job of it either. <laughs> like, oh, I am going three miles an hour. Oops, let's go. This is why you don't text and drive. I can't even do it on video game life. So I'm finish unloading that harvester. And this time we'll fill up the front trailer first. Those of you that are upset by that will not be quite upset as upset <laughs> and we've got just a little bit left to harvest So we'll make this a, a extra special episode because it'll be longer because we're going to include our trip to Andorra, our overnight trip. So you'll get a little bit of trucking in there, and for uh, in the non or the in the real world, uh, Euro Truck is updated to 1.4, so we should see some cool new lighting features. I don't particularly know because I don't I don't pay attention to that stuff too much. It's not terrible. But I know it came out, and everyone's was raving about how cool it's going to be. And so,
scoop it up. Last couple gulps. We could do soybeans maybe the next crop now that we've done canola. So we're going to run this over, and I'm going to go, I'm going to take the tractor up to the farm. I don't, actually, we could tech, check our storage through here. I don't remember if I have canola in the, uh, no, I don't. I sold it all. So what do we, we do have, it looks like wheat and barley are already in the silos, but not the original amount. We never used it, so. So we don't have to go up to the farm, so that's good. Let's so we'll fill up the front cart. Right, and off we go. So let's clean this guy up, get him put away. We'll clean up the tractor, get that put away, or the canola train. Bring that back over here, and then uh, take the new Holland home, run down to the shop, get the truck, and make our way to Andorra. How's this thing doing? Looks like it could do a little fixing up once we clean it. Let's clean it off and get it repaired and put away. Very complicated machine we have here. It's good to keep it man maintained and clean. Worshy worsh. Picked up a lot of dirt on the front end there. Huh? But it kind of, it all came out in the wash. Okay, so let's take a look here real quick and see. We're going to repair that. Uh, no. Repair it. Yep. And then we're going to tab and repair that. Yep. All right. Got to keep the vehicles maintained, my friends. What a great compact harvester. All right, I'm going to run out to the tractor, and we will get that over to the train facility. All right, so I'm making my way over. Looks like we're clear on that side. Sort of clear on this side, but that's all right. These tippers will need to be cleaned soon, too. They're looking a little rough. I love the way that the screens don't operate yet. Someday maybe Farm Sim will get with it. And they probably look at the frame rates and go, no, we can't afford that frame rate. But it's really silly to have a picture of a mower on the backup screen when we're pointing tippers. But what can you do? Oh, good. The train's going to run me over while I'm doing this. All right. So we're going to dump this. World's shortest dump. Obviously, no parking, no parking, no parking, no parking. X, X, X. You turn here. And we'll park those there, and off we go. Back to the farm. Well, the lower farm.
Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta Today has been a day of shuffling equipment. Looking good. All right, so that's good there. So we're done down here. Now we're going to take the New Holland back up to the main farm. And grab our truck. So I will see you back up at the main farm once I get there, which will be in just a few minutes. All right, I've arrived back at the farm. And we are going to park. I don't remember. I think I put uh, right there, yeah. Wow, I'm going to get that in there. Okay. <laughs> if I say so. Uh, is that how that saying goes? All right, let me... Mm. Better. Okay, good. 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 Okay, all set. Grass stuff is away. Put the tractor away. Looks good to me. I think all the lights are on there. There we go. All right. And let's head on down to the store. That was the wrong button. I'm trying to get... Is it that one? No. Is it that? There we go. The train is now available for purchase. All right. So we're going to take this little guy down, and we're going to get the semi-truck and bring it back up. Should be parked around the back. Has the train hit town yet? I don't think so. Oh, there it comes, though. Look, there it is. Ding, ding, ding. How? Things don't turn so good. All right. Hey, lady. Okay, so we're going to park in the... They have parking in the back for us, so park back here. Yeah, and there's the Euro truck right where we left it. Our Scania. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab it. <laughs> Head out. <laughs> All righty. Drive carefully. Easy. It's toit. It's toit. Gotta wash it. It's toit. And let's head on down to the facility and pick up the green in our amazing Skenya.
I love driving the truck, even though it's touchy. Let's see if we can get, get through with the uh, with our trailers parked there. It's gonna make it a little tight. Tweet. Load her up. Canola, forty-three thousand liters. Get on the road. Sayonara Farm on the road again. We're going to hit the open road again. Sweet. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. All right, so we are on the verge of entering the freeway system. Come out of our lovely little valley. And we're ready to cross it. Andorra's a little further than I thought. I don't know why I thought it was closer, but of course me being an American in Europe probably didn't help. Uh, all right, come on, where are we going here? So I've got some serious mileage t to pass along. I'll kind of hit you with the highlights. But here's a video of us getting stuck. Waiting to leave. I've already put about an hour's drive behind me. It was nothing too spectacular. But what you did miss was that uh, I had a problem with one of the wheels. It was an axle issue. So they had me pull into Zurich to get it looked at. So we are actually leaving the Zurich area. And it's pretty early in the morning. We spent the night there. And so that is what we are doing right now. Oh well, what are you going to do? Uh, I did find out from our pay scale when I talked to the uh, owners of the company. This will all be taken care of with money. <laughs> it's gonna, it's actually worth it. It seems like it's a really long trip. It's actually further than the Italy trip. But uh, they're paying an extra $20,000 on top of... Like, it's a, it's a pretty big bonus. I guess not... They don't get a lot of deliveries here, and it's in the mountains. So, from what I understand, it's a little bit of a technical drive up to where we're going. Um, we'll see how I do. They've entrusted me. Go figure. So, anyway, I'll see you along the road here. Next beautiful spot comes, we'll pick up, but... For now, it's mostly Germany driving, and that is, this is about as exciting as it gets. So, I'll be back. This is pretty here. Not sure what town that is, but it's a pretty cool town. Wazen? I don't know.
We've definitely come a ways out of the Alps. Just got an 80 mile an hour sticker up here. That's about what we're doing, or 80 kilometers an hour. We're doing about 85 in our truck. <laughs> yeah. Very pretty area here. I think we're starting to head into France. I don't think we're there yet, though. This is going to be, let's see, Bern. Yeah, this is still Germany. we got lots of Germany to go. Pretty woods down here in the south, though. C'est Dijon. Bern. That's if we get off there. Continuing on, we're heading towards uh, Geneva. Luison. Luison. Slow it down about five. We got a pretty big corner coming up here. And the trucks are still going slower than us. <laughs> okay, so I'll keep going. It was pretty neat to see that little city there, though. I'm not sure what town that was. was paying attention to the road signs, just watching the GPS. As we cruise on by different bergs. <laughs> All right. Let's see there. Oh, this is cool. There's a tunnel up ahead. Oh, we're getting back into the mountains again. I wonder if we'll pass our old farm. Hmm. We might. Campagne de France was, uh, I don't think anywhere nearby where we're going, though, so. But I know we are going to pass through France a little bit, but then we're heading south towards Spain. And Andorra de Valla is in a valley in the, I believe they're in the French Alps, just north of the Spanish Alps. Anyway, it's out there. We are, ooh, pretty. We are traveling on the Autobahn. Yeah. It's very beautiful. <laughs> this is pretty. I like it. With all the rivers and mountains and bridges. Wait, there we go. There's a bridge. I'm not speeding. I'm being a good boy. All right, I'll see you on down the road. This is looking more just regular old freeway-ish. Things have been going smoothly as we move along here. Yay. High-speed train. <laughs> oh, stay on the road, Arfie. Whoa. <laughs> uh, still on, the, yeah, Lyon. Pretty sure Lyon is in France. Dijon, I think, is also in France. So I think, did we, I didn't see a sign. Oh boy, that bus is slowing down. Wow. Pay attention, you donkey. Ah, uh, I saw it. I saw it. This must be Geneva. Or oh, Geneva. So we are still en Suisse. And you will get over and let me over. Stupid bus. Speed up underneath me. Go around like everybody else. Ooh, nice brick wall. That's cool. Ah, uh, yes, the border. We are entering France. Bonjour. Je, je suis arrivé. I am arrived. <laughs> I'm here. are exiting here, so let's go ahead and get ready to slow down. Tenth gear. Mm. 
think I'm going to need to be going slower. That looks pretty steep. Oh, sorty. And we are heading towards Lyon. All right. Oh, I did not mean to stop. Wow. Do we enter back into Swiss? Looks like we're back in Switzerland. Back in Swizzle Stick. Oh, yeah, there's the border again. Doing a lot of border crossing today. But from the same countries back into the same countries again. Ooh, pretty. Well, that's our official GPS notification that we're in France. I get those on my GPS here in America, or back in America, like when I go between states. <laughs> Welcome to Michigan. Welcome to Ohio. Pretty neat. Yeah, we're getting into the tough territory now. This is where things start to get shaken up a little bit. This is back country France. Whoa, I didn't realize how mountainous, but I guess, the, you know, the French do have their French Alps in the south eastern region of the country, and I kind of you kind of forget about it sometimes. But it is a thing. Here's the road to Lyon. Oh, man! You you sons of biscuits. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're going about the speed limit, so it's 80 through here. I don't know how. But the roads are going to get a lot worse. Look how pretty this is, though. Wow. This kind of reminds me of where we came from. <laughs> this is what Mother Road's back by Erlengrat look like, so. sure was pretty. Alright, so I'm going to continue on down the road here. Anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. But I'll be back. Coming up to a pretty little section of road here. We're gonna, I think we're going to be crossing that bridge right there. Slowing way down here. Hey, it's a doit! <laughs> well, this is the country for it. prefer my Hollands, my new Hollands, and my newer Ridge tracks. Hey, a Mini Cooper. <laughs> that was cool. My mom's best friend drives one of those, and I just don't, I only realized last time I was over there helping her move some furniture that it's a stick shift. I was like, what? I'm like, you drive stick, Nancy? She's like, oh yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm impressed. She's like, I know, and only 25% of the population could steal my car. Because most of them don't know how to drive stick. Like, wow, yeah, it's so true. It's true. Yep. Anyway, thought I'd share the bridge with you, but now it's just long... Well, not really straight roads. These are pretty curvy here, but we're going to get into some pretty territory in a little bit. Ah, this is pretty. 
some fortress off there in the distance as we cross this mighty river, whatever this is. We're heading on the route right now to Toulouse. And uh, I'm not sure exactly where Toulouse is, but we're going to have to slow down here and go through the toll booth. They say it's 30 through here. Stay there, Junkin Hunrich. <laughs> Speed limit's been 90 for a bit, so we're able to cruise along nicely. Well, these games, I've noticed this, that there's some stuttering going on. It's not normal. Anyway, I shall continue on. This is the, we're going kind of through the main section of France here. Heading southish towards the mountains. I'll be back. All right. Well, that's a cool area over there. Not sure where we're going. Some kind of mill or something over there. But this is, we're getting into the region, I think, finally, uh, of where we're going to be doing the delivery. As we're getting into the later afternoon here, we're cruising along so far and making good time. Funny, the speed limit for us is 90, but the, most of these truckers are going 80. Maybe they know something I don't know. so I can get over. Pushing 95. <sighs> Living dangerously, you know, almost like 60 miles an hour. <laughs> barely, truck can barely handle it. Whoa. We finally hit 60. Wow. What is going on? Played this game an awful lot. Never... That's the new thing. Something's not right. Right back off a little bit. Before I get in too much trouble. <laughs> Andorra. Foi. <laughs> they were heading towards foi. <laughs> what the foi? Oh, that sounded bad. Here's, we are in the area of Toulouse. You're in Paris, Toulouse, Andorra, Faux. Vive la France. Vive la Résistance. All right. Uh, Vive la Défense. Was that that? Was that your play? Feel the difference. You'll play yogurt. Live the difference. Viva la revolution! Somebody over there was busted for speeding. Maybe I better watch. <laughs> All right, so now we've just made our south, looks like west or easterly turn. Before we were going west, now we're heading east and south along this mountain range. And Wolf heading towards France, Spain, and all the things in between. It's evening. We should be closing in on our area. One dangerous trait. Do I, 
like maybe it is a tray a, is that a car length one is dangerous two is secure safe security Looks like this is going to be a three-day trip. Didn't realize that when I took this on. <laughs> Two days going back. Oh, boy. Yeah, here we go. We're getting into the mountains now. Here's where things slow down. And it's very windy. Look at that windsock there. Wham. Holding on to the wheel here. See what? Eh, not too bad. It's blowing. We got a full load, so it's not blowing us around, really. I know there are places, in the UK at least, where... The wind can just knock a truck over. So, but I think, yeah, with the mountains, it's probably true also. Well, that was a neat little pass there. Wow, look at the Alps are coming up here. Drawing in as we close in. <laughs> now, once again, Andorra de Vela is uh, a, a principality or something. It's its own country. Ugh. What the heck? Looks like we're stuttering and then exiting up here. Oh, the road just ends. Okay. A roundabout? Oh, it is. Oh, frightening. Cool de poor. Okay. Well, isn't this a pretty drive? Andorra Laval. <laughs> Kill me, mister. He looks like he's got milk product there. Or cheese, maybe? I don't know. He's got a picture of some cows in the sunshine. Things are about to get technical. Let's see if I'm up to the challenge here. So, sun's going down. We're going to probably be arriving in the evening looks like because <laughs> it already is almost evening and the road is going to get curvier the higher we get up and the stuttering is going to continue for some odd reason it's really bizarre. Maybe I need to pick 32-bit. It's like the 63-bit. Maybe 64-bit. I just kicked, clicked play. I wonder if that was maybe why it's acting all weird. Oh, boy. You can see on my GPS how this is going to go. Axe is the name of the city. Uh, La Ferme. La Ferme. Axe La Ferme. Wow, is this pretty? Oh, look at the GPS. <sighs> this heads towards Barcelona and Andorra de Val. Or Laval. Or de Val. I don't know. Andorra. <laughs> okay. I'm not technical at all. Oh, 
stall for crying out loud. Going to <laughs> how about going to first? Well, I stalled. So far, I'm failing the technical. Somebody just crashed, it sounds like. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's no uh, oncoming traffic, though. I haven't run into anybody coming down the mountain, so that's good, at least. But we're going to have to come back this way tomorrow morning. Okay. Not sure where that tunnel goes, but I think we're getting pretty close. I see the border between France and some unknown flag, which will be the Andorran flag. So we'll just kind of hang in gear here. And if For those of you wondering what that horrifyingly metallic noise is, that is a train in my backyard that is starting up. <laughs> uh, he stopped there for a while, and they almost always do. And then once the other line is clear, they go ahead and pull on through. I guess the good news is the tra there's a lot of traffic behind me, but they're not like right up my butt. Pretty much made it. I don't know what La Hospital de Andor is, but that looks to me like Andor de Valla, straight up ahead in the mountains. Almost like Wheeling, West Virginia. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Nothing like it. Boulder? Vale, Colorado? This one's like a gleaming pinnacle of richness. Wow, look at that city. <laughs> there it is. That's definitely it. And for some reason, they need canola. Maybe they cook a lot, I guess. Who knows? But I don't care. We're just delivering it. We're not done yet. <laughs> Just when you thought we were there. Oh my goodness. It goes on forever. Well, we could see it, but we haven't gotten to it yet, the road lines around. I know if you I remember watching a Top Gear episode where they visited Andorra. They drove like supercars or something through Andorra and it was really difficult cuz the roads are obviously a little narrow. Not here, but when you especially when you get into town which we're almost there. So we kind of went up and above, and now we're coming back down. That's interesting. We do need some gas. We'll get that in the morning. Was 
that? Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, is that light turning yellow? What? <laughs> huh? Is that Toto photo? Oh no, just photo photo. <laughs> Toto, do 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 do. The wild dogs cry out in the night. España. I mean, Spain is this way also. And it looks like we have a red light, a yellow. Go. All right. And go straight. Wow. The GPS is just a hair cluttered. But here we are. You and me. A couple of silver spoons. All right. We have to make our way up to the distribution center. But it looks like that'll be an easy job to do. So thank you for going on the ride with me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And uh, we'll be bringing the truck back tomorrow as long as that's what they want us to do. get back to work on the farm. With the extra money that we have, I think it might be time to get to just one breed of cows so that our cows start multiplying. So I think we'll work on that tomorrow. Or, well, two days from now when I get back home. That's how it goes. We also do need to go hunting pretty soon because they're, they're asking us now for stuff. So Here's the distribution center. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I definitely had fun making it, uh, and we got, you know, it's quite a trip. Beautiful, beautiful ride tonight, and uh, we are now ready to deliver our canola to, sh is it Shanker? Oh, <laughs> this truck's backwards from my, usual, my, uh, my old truck and my car. Just to put it in this dock right here. shabby, a little bit crooked, but straighten that out just a bit. Try one more time. Ta-da! Alright, ladies and germs, thanks for riding along with me. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, boys help, and I will see you next time on Farm Sim Alpine Adventure. <laughs> or whatever we call it, Alpine Farm. Have a good night. Bye.